guys, the objectives of this video is to find something called the void ratio. We're going to be looking at porosity, saturation, moisture content, and the relationship between saturation and moisture content. So first up, the void ratio. So the void ratio is given by the symbol E, where E equals the volume of the voids on the volume of the solids, which you can rewrite because we know the volume of the voids is the volume of the air plus the volume of the water. Okay, that's still over the volume of the solids. Something else which is quite neat, this comes up a bit, is just to notice as well that we can rewrite the volume of the voids as the total volume minus the volume of the soils. Okay, just keep this relationship in mind because it does come up sometimes when you're only given the total volume and the volume of the solids. You can still find the void ratio. Okay, the porosity is given by the letter N, okay, which equals the volume of the voids on the total volume. Right, so if we wanted to break that up, that would be the volume of the air plus the volume of the water on top of the volume of the air plus the volume of the water plus the volume of the solids. Okay, this value ranges from 0 to 1. Okay, and if you think about it, if we have no voids, right, we're going to have 0 on the top, which makes our answer 0. And if our, if our um, substance is only voids, it's going to be 1. And because it's only voids, the bottom will also be 1, or it'll be 6 on 6, or 8 on 8, which will always give you back to 1. So this value ranges from 0 to 1, okay? The E can be larger than 1, okay? Or less than 1. This value can range between a whole bunch of values, but this one only goes between 0 and 1. Um, <clears throat> the saturation is given by capital S, which equals the volume of the water on the volume of the voids, which we can further break down as volume of water on volumes of air plus volume of water. Um, this value likewise ranges from 0 to 1. Okay, and the next thing we're going to be looking at is the moisture content. So the moisture content is given by little m. This should not be confused with mass. In soil mechanics, little m is moisture content, which is the weight of the water over the weight of the solids, or the mass of the water, or the mass of the solids. Okay. Moisture content comes up quite a bit, so moisture content is probably one of the more important relationships. Um, and also the E, the um, <coughs> void ratio is very important. So E and M are very, very important relation, are very important um, parameters for soil. And the final thing we're going to look at, I'm not going to derive it with you, but we're just going to be looking at this final relationship, which is between moisture content and saturation, where M equals E S on specific gravity. So the moisture content equals the void ratio times the saturation divided by the specific gravity. This relationship is very, very, very important and it comes up a lot in soil mechanics. Okay, this is a very important relationship. It sort of connects almost everything we've done here. Right, it connects E, S, and M. Yeah? The moisture content equals the void ratio times the saturation divided by the specific gravity of the solid. Um, in the next couple of videos, we'll do a little bit more examples, which will connect all these things together. Just the ma the main idea behind this section of the of the um, series <coughs> is you're not you're not going to be dealing with this throughout the series, right? It's just to give you a bit of appreciation for all these different concepts. Um, when you do more complex questions, you're not going to have to use all this stuff. You might just have to use one relationship to get somewhere. Uh, it's not a big focus of the course, so don't get too bogged down in all these different relationships and all these different things. It's not, it's not too much of a big deal, as long as you understand the basics. Hope that helps.